it is well known that Guardium has a level of visibility within databases for vulnerabilities that no application scanner can even dream of having. You can find stuff about how your database is configured and you know all sort of vulnerabilities that you can only find. But how do we bring those into Curator? And the benefit of that in here, we, we see a Curator screen and we can actually perform a search and see specifically which vulnerabilities has been found by uh, Guardium. So we go here, found by scanner, and select Guardium. That's the first option there, and perform search. And this gives us an idea of the, look at, the, at this level of uh, granularity. We can click into any one of these. Uh, for example, on this one, on the buffer overflow, and see the metadata that comes from uh, that uh, particular uh, vulnerability. So, again, lots of uh, lots of visibility. How do we make this happen? Well, let's first go into Guardium, and we are going to go into here. I'm, I'm logging in, in Guardium in the Guardian console and we go to tools and within tools we select this option here security assessment builder and we have a configuration for our demo system called Altoro uh, and what we can actually do is uh, modify let's click here on modify to see how this policy gets created and let's click on the pencil to see uh, more detail so we specify what's the database, the, the IP of the database, the type of database, the severity classification can be, you know, medium, low, high. You need to provide credentials, of course, for it. That's the port 6008. And basically, you can even test the connection to, uh, to make sure that you, you have all this set up correctly. And when you have all that done and you come back to the uh, main screen you can actually select that one and click here run once then you can see the results and that's going to generate two file two files uh, two xml file one is uh, uh, ended in axis.xml and the other one is scap scap.xml that's the one that uh, guardium actually uh, that curator actually uh, uh, likes and, and can interpret so once you have that file uh, that was uh, that was created. You need to somehow do, do any FTP or, or put it in a place that curator can have access to it. And let's see what uh, what is the uh, the configuration that uh, that you need to do in curator for that. So let's go into the admin console. In in this in the vulnerability section on the VA scanners, we have. Guardian defined as a scanner. And this is the type of configuration, the information that you need to put, you know, how to get to the to the uh, particular uh, place where the host is, the credentials for logging into that host to pick up that file. Here's a regular expression that, uh, that grabs the SCAP file. Uh, and uh, that's basically uh, all you, you need to do. And we actually run this uh, this particular uh, uh, file, uh, it's called here a scanner, but the, the results what uh, Guardian actually scan, we did that on February of uh, 12th of 2014, and that's how, what enabled us to actually look at the vulnerabilities and bring the vulnerabilities from a database into the, the prioritization scheme that QBM is so well known about.